With money comes power, and that's a great responsibility. Almanzo, coming from the environment that he came from, this was going to be something different, a different type of responsibility. Zoe was making a lot of money every month, and don't get me wrong, he was being responsible, but let's be honest, it was nice to have some money to play with. First stop was getting a car. With Zoe being so tall, he was limited on the vehicles he could get. He really needed a big car, and he was not sparing any expense, so he decided to get one of his childhood favorites and you know he had to customize it next stop it was time to get iced out. Although Zoe wasn't used to wearing jewelry, he knew when he saw something he liked, he was definitely gonna grab it. Now he only grabbed a few pieces to get him started. Nothing too crazy. But you know he had to get that double A right on his chest. Then of course, what's jewelry to trash clothes? Nothing. He decided to go ahead and get some designer and other clothes to make sure when it was game day, he was looking the cleanest out of all the team. Funny thing is, Zoe was spending a lot of money, but was still renting an apartment and he didn't have a stable home. That's when he got a call from his accountant wanting to know why he was spending so much money all at once. He explained that he knew he needed to save and was planning on doing so very soon. He just wanted to have some fun. That's when his accountant let him know that he was being signed up for a money literacy class on how to properly invest and save his money. At first, Zoe wasn't trying to hear all that, but then he thought about all the times his pops and his moms told him horror stories of broke athletes. So he attended the seminar and got some great pointers from the teacher that he wanted to try and execute. So the next month, Zoe decided to take his money and invest. He also learned how to play the stock market. He wasn't seeing the return on these investments just yet, but it was looking like he was keeping some money in his pocket. Chat, we are back on the Madden 24 with my man Double A, Speedy Zoe, whatever you want to call him, and these Tennessee Titans. And listen, <laughs> Zoe having a little money problems back at home off the field, but on the field, let's see if we can keep these problems at bay, right? We complete some passes early. It's looking good for Zoe, you know what I'm saying? He ain't got to scramble. He ain't got to do too much like he likes to do just yet. I mean, it's still very early in this game. So let's see how this things play out. And look at the dot across the middle of the field to the tight end. And that man is scooting. Oh, my lordy. <laughs> Almost a touchdown. And Chad, I ain't going to hold you. Slants is a scrambler QB's best friend. <laughs> no cap. 
on the eight-yard line, trying to score, trying to strike first against the New Orleans Saints. And Zo not being patient, not looking downfield, not really looking to see if somebody's going to be open. He decides to take off. And, yeah, we go four and out right there. But we get three. New Orleans also gets three. And Derrick Henry is not having a good time running the ball, bro. It's second and 20 already. So, we, you know what? We're going to get that man in that open field, throw the screen, and it's time for him to scoop. And that gets us 15 yards on that pass play. Nice little draw up right there from the coach. The coach said, air it out on third and five. I said, bet. But the offensive line could not hold up, and we could not get away from number 99. That's a big boy moving like that, and that's another – Three and out for the Tennessee Titans. Now we are on a five-yard line. And I don't know what we can expect from this play, but we got some we, we got Zosin in that pocket getting comfortable. I like that, right? That's all we can ask for at this point. Another screenplay on third and two. We just need two. But these boys ran commit or something, because Lou, we got we, we got some distance on that one, brother. 15 plus yards on that screenplay. And the New Orleans Saints is just over-pursuing, and we are taking advantage of that. Nobody open, didn't want to throw the dump down. Zoe's going to get it himself, putting his shoulder down, getting that first down. That's what you love to see from your QB. If he ain't going to pass it, boy, you better get up first. You feel me? Third and eight. Late in the second quarter, Zoe seeing some field in front of him, keeping the drive alive. And we want to score here, bro. Scoring before half would, would put us in a great position. Now we fast forward. 32 seconds is third and nine on the 24-yard line. We so close to getting into that red zone. And Zoe taking off again. A diving tackle, breaking a tackle. Wait a minute. Zoe out here maneuvering and scooting. You love to see it. Six seconds left, first and goal. And he throws it in the dirt, and that inaccuracy is terrible, bro. <laughs> the inaccuracy is terrible. Coach decides to kick a field goal. The Saints come down and kick a field goal. It's a tie game, right? Third quarter, late in this third quarter. Zoe in trouble, scooting a lot of green in front of him, and he slides. I know, baby. Sometimes getting hit, you know, mm -mm -mm. I don't. I ain't trying to get hit this second half. Not for real. Put my body on the line last time. And right here, the play action looking downfield. But we actually got somebody hitting that far right sideline, getting the first down. And honestly, going back and forth, kicking field goals ain't really going to win us the game unless the defense can get some stops. D. Henry, speaking of stops, that boy is in the zone. No auto, you feel me? But that man is moving and I'm going to try to abuse it as much as possible. Third and five, we couldn't abuse it as much as we wanted to. So now we got to draw something up. Zoe out here calling the hot routes. It's a play action. And Zoe got a lot of field in front of him. One man to beat, but the spin is way too slow for me. But we get the first on the six-yard line. The second and four. Time running down in the third. It don't matter. We got a whole nother quarter to go. And I'm leaning on Derrick Henry, and he jumps into the end zone for our first touchdown of the game, which comes damn near in the fourth quarter. But we get some points on the board. That's not a field goal, right? 13 to 6 right now. And we back on the field. Defense went out there and got a stop. I'm running the cheese. Play action crossers play. I don't care. <laughs> I'm going to do it. And here we go, throwing it downfield, a D hop in stride. And that was an under pressure pass, but somehow we get it off another screen play. Derek is in the zone yet again. I'm gonna get it to him. <laughs> he got a lot of field in front of him. Where the speed at? On the six yard line, we doing a play action play again, a bootleg, fake, all that. I'm trying to get into this end zone. Zoe had no pass. <laughs> he had no parts of throwing that, bro. I'm going to let y'all know that right now. Zoe had no plans to throw it. QB sneak gets Zoe into the end zone. The score is 19-6 to now. Wait a minute, Zoe. The big flip. Woo! And that is how we're going to end the game. 20-6. to We end up beating New Orleans in our debut game. Game one of the season is Zoe. A pretty good outing, 226 yards passing, 64 yards rushing. 
What more can you ask for from your rookie QB but a duck? Game two, brother. Lord, Lord, Lord. We going up against the Chargers. Y'all know this defense gets potent when it wants to, man. They got they got superstars on the line and on the third level. Listen, it gets exhausting. I'm not going to hold you. Right here, we trying to throw the little dump down screen play. I love this play for Derek because it really gives him the best opportunity to create and make a play. But we end up getting it third and one. We're trying to do something to quarterback sneak. And look at Zoe maneuvering around them big boys. Well, I can't really say that because Zoe 6'6", 230 himself. But we end up getting the first, keeping the drive alive. You love that for your opening drive, right? Screen play. Getting my man Derek in that open field immediately. But unfortunately, we do not get the first down. I wish that man would run hard on these plays because it's so much field in front of him, bro. I know he can turn up right here that handoff. The halfback draw gets us about 20 on. You feel me? And that's what I like to see from Derek. Run hard, my boy. Third and eight. He's been driving this play for a long time, man. It'll be a shame if we don't get a tutty off of this. And the boy sitting that blitz, that edge, Joey Bosa with the sack. And you know he's going to have a lot of those stacked up by the end of the season. I know he's going to have about 50 lelm on me. <laughs> right here, we need a score. Targeting D Hop again. And we gotta get that man D Hop some 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 yards. You feel me? That man ain't coming to Tennessee for nothing. And I'm gonna make sure he did. Right here, the quarterback draw looks like it was about to be a, a, a bad one. And we end up turning it up and actually looking at the score for the first time here. We're actually losing by a touchdown and an extra point. So you know we gotta get into the end zone right now before halftime. We need that momentum push. And I believe that's exactly what's about to happen right now. Zoe, the obvious QB. Whoa. Whoa. I thought my boy was going to get smacked, but we end up scoring. Zoe finds his way to the end zone on the QB sneak. You love to see. Shout out to Dion Sanders with the shuffle. And we make it into the end zone again. And I believe that's two rushing touchdowns for my man Zoe on the season already in game two. Love to see it. The score is tied. Defense went out there and did what they needed to do. And Zoe doing what he needs to do. And this man is scooting the 10. Touchdown. What a way to make a play right there from the wide receiver. That had nothing to do with us. Just a beautiful slant route. And the safety, the free safety just couldn't catch him more. Went crazy. Man cut my, my replay in half there. I wanted to see the man go all the way to the end zone. Right here, chop block for the, oh my lord, the same play. It's not deja vu. It's something new, baby. And we are up 17 to 10 right now in the fourth quarter. I'm really just trying to command the clock, really. Great downfield block right there. I stumble a little bit, but we end up getting a first. And True Clock is definitely on. Believe that. <laughs> True Clock is definitely in play. I'm not mad at us. Not mad at the team, honestly. A little read right here from Coach. And again, just putting the ball in the, in the hands of the man. <laughs> Keep getting us these first. Keep chewing this clock up. I'm not really thinking of scoring, but I kind of am. You know what I mean? Because I know how Madden is on all Madden, right? Things get real sick real quick right here. Play action. I run out of bounds. I don't know why. Terrible clock management from Zoe. But luckily, we end up kicking a field goal. Oh, no, we did it. <laughs> we went for it. But we end up winning 10 to 17. What a close win. But I hope you guys did enjoy this video, man. Not a great performance from Zoe this game. But if you did enjoy this video, man, make sure you guys leave it a thumbs up. Subscribe. Turn on post notifications if you are new to the channel and you want to see some more Madden content just like this. And I got you guys. But until the next one, man, peace. Again, with some of the best high school players around the world, it is a pleasure. It's, it's a treat to get invited out here to the Mamba Academy. Only a handful get to do it. And because that boy Barrett is number one in the world, you know, they had to let him bring a guest, right? And Scrap is not disappointing at all.